Oh. Oh. Want to go outside? Need this. Okay, got all the all the string has been covered in shoe goo. Here is the pants. It looks pretty good. I mean, see all this this glossy shiny stuff. You guys can see it in the sun. See what I mean, like this. And there it is right there. See all that? There is something called a ghillie wash that I will be doing on this channel for you guys, but that will actually get rid of the shine. You go back through, you hit it again with some spray paint afterwards, and it is good to go. Uh, but this is going to take a little while. I did let the pants, I did let the pants sit out here for, since I think it's been about two weeks or so, and I actually let it sit through a bunch of rain and just let it sit out here in the conditions and let it do this thing. I do have to kind of peel this up, as you guys can tell right here. See, these are kind of curling up. Come back through some scissors and then hit it with some more shoe goo, and then she's going to be, she is going to be good to go. Yeah, that looks good. So when I was in the military, before you guys go on like a deployment or you guys go on like some type of rotation, like some training cycle, you guys always have to do, they, they always gave you like some stupid thing. It would literally be like a packing list. And you'd be like, why did you give me a packing list? I'm an adult, I can pack my own stuff. But you know what, as I have gotten older, I'm 28 now, and I, I think to myself, you know what, those packing lists they give to us are pretty smart because it makes you like, you don't ever forget anything. Back when I was younger, I was like, oh, I'm never gonna forget anything. I know what to pack. Just show everything in a bag. It's gonna be good to go. But I went searching online and we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing a hunting series here in the next couple weeks where it's like legitimate backcountry. So I got a backcountry packing list I found online just so I do not forget anything. And a lot of stuff's kind of like common, like baby wipes and, and calls and saw and hunting knives and stuff like that. That stuff's on here, but there's some random stuff I didn't really think about. For one, I don't think I'm gonna put a power gener oh power generator. Yeah, I'm gonna need one of those. Not an actual. Anyway, that's what I'm talking about. I got a list, and I, right now I'm going to pull out some stuff. Kind of just check some stuff off, and then we're gonna hit the range. That's gonna be that's gonna be how we're gonna start this beautiful, beautiful day off. And she's still working. Yeah, just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. That's way too much work right now. I'll say that for a different day. That'll literally take like all day just to sort through that mess. But we are gonna do something today and it's going to consist of, it's going to consist of having to use these right here. It's not focusing, but you get the idea. Come on, focus you son of a gun. There we go. That's what it's gonna consist of. Those shiny little suckers right there. That's pretty much the deal. We gotta make a pit stop. Actually, two more pit stops. Guys, it's 12.48 and it's 114 degrees out. Calm, calm down. We're gonna make it out on the water. I know you guys have been wanting some fishing videos. Just a little tad bit on the warm side. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's, he's up there though. He's like right here somewhere. Fast movers are out today. Okay, I had to do a quick pit stop at the place that I, I pretty much have been practicing. We're gonna go out to 60 or 70 again today. Oh, Lord, Lord, 60 yards away. That's not too terrible. Not too terrible. I'm gonna leave you guys down here and then I'm gonna shoot uh, five arrows at it this time. You guys gotta imagine, 60 yards away. I would, I would assume that's probably, probably a pretty good little kill zone. As long as I can get inside this little area right here, I'll be pretty happy. Just gotta work on my follow through and hitting that same spot right here. No, no, right there, yeah, yeah. Knuckle right there behind the ear. There you go, right in that little, a nice little succulent spot right there. You know what I mean? And then I'm gonna shoot, this is 60, and I'm gonna shoot 50 and 40 and 30, but I'm not gonna show you guys any of that. I'll probably actually shoot like 35 and 47, just random numbers, so I can actually start getting like a mental, mental thing for my, uh, well, start getting used to that sight just a little bit more. But I feel like I'm pretty, uh, feel pretty confident right here. If there, if there was an elk or a deer or a jackrabbit or like a, a cantaloupe, uh, yeah, not an antelope, a cantaloupe, at 60, I would 100% probably take the shot if everything was going going well so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep keep at it just just bear with me get it bear ah you can tell I'm getting a little tired I'm about 30 or so arrows deep in right now after a half decent workout this morning I got three that were low and two that were good I've been uh, really trying to get my my conditioning up over the last month uh, you guys will find out here soon I'm gonna be doing uh, like a legitimate backcountry deal. The hunt that I'm going on, 
It's it's not guided, nothing like that. That's a buddy of mine, the guy that the, the, the guy that hunts the snakes. It goes catch all the snakes. We're actually going to be doing a, a hunt together for about seven days in the middle of nowhere, the kind of place where you actually have to bring like water purification stuff and you're sleeping no service. So I may not see you guys for a week, but on a good note, we're going to be able to get some really really awesome, unique. Kind of content for this channel that's something i've never done in my entire life and it's something i've always wanted to do but no i have been uh i, I read a lot of comments a lot of people saying oh you're not ready to shoot them so so far i have legitimately been practicing a ton uh, i've just been working out every morning and running try to get myself in the the physical condition that it actually that's actually going to take i'm pretty just got it woo, can't even find my words that's how excited i am i'm gonna i'm gonna knock out a couple more i'm slightly fatigued from this morning's workout like i said so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get at it Oh, okay, that was about 70, 75 arrows or so, I would assume, maybe maybe even a little bit more, maybe a little less. It was somewhere around 75 though. I think I shot, yeah, yeah, it had to be, because it was about 70, because I shot 10 on every single target from 20 to 60 plus, of course. I shot about 25, maybe 30 on 60. <sighs> I could feel it. Man, it's a pain in, uh, what do they call it, pain in repetition or something? Okay, now it's time to get on with our day. We still have, uh, well, we got this with us. Clearly, the title of this video was, well, hopefully, it's a, some sort of fishing related title because we're about to go fishing. thought about something this could be the last voyage on this boat by the way yes yeah it, it could be oh, wow. yeah you don't really see these too often on a bass boat but I, I needed the carver box but underneath this just in case we do catch some fish that need a slicing and dicing and grilling deal but first I might actually stop at a bridge and see if there's some bass just chilling and then we have to go find them we have to go find the fish that will munch and that we can slice and dice that water tip is Hopefully that's how we Oh, wow, that's a Carolina rig. Is there a Carolina? Yeah, that is a Carolina. You know what? I'm going to throw that. It's already tied on. Why not? Why not? And it's got a freaking trench hog on there. Carolina rig with a trench hog? Money! I see bait getting busted up there. That's what you want right there. Ain't nothing like a Carolina rig stuck. Oh yeah, I love it. And she's broke off, okay. Good start, good start. Okay, something different. bad fish either dude that is not a bad fish for the summertime hey first fish we are not gonna eat this one I'm sure the audio is superb with all the cars but we're not gonna eat that fish all right buddy all right buddy I just had to come and try to catch one or two broke off son of a gun all right you ready let's go find some fish that must have been a sharp object this is like i think this is 20 pound test right here oh there's a fish there's a fish my drag was really loose on this rod Come on, what kind of fish is it? What kind of fish is it? Oh, it's a big large mouth. Big old large mouth. Okay. Yeah, he's a good sized large mouth, man. That is a good large mouth. Oh yeah, good large mouth. Turn, turn, turn. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I actually came here. I was kind of contemplating going and trying to find some sand bass. And actually the spot where I was gonna go, I wish Steven was actually rolling. There was a, uh, I found a whole bunch of bait fish. And I came back around. I'm actually kind of glad I didn't though. That's a good looking little fish, man. And a guy on a pontoon just, <laughs> I like turned back around and a guy on a pontoon took a giant, um, he took his giant anchor, threw it over the front of the boat and I was like, all right, Steven, let's get out of here. And that's, uh, I think it was worth it. There we go. It's a three and a half, four pounder all day, baby. What do you think? 
You want to fist bump him, Steven? I don't, I don't know. What, what do you want to do uh, here? Just like, tell the white bass to uh, come. Steven's hungry. <laughs> Dude, come on. Tell your buddies down there I want some white bass. I don't want to eat you, baby. All right, buddy. Hey, decided to throw a uh, little medium diving 10 footer down there, a little crankbait. A little medium diving crankbait here. Dams, summertime. Give it a shot if you have it. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Look at them, look at them. There they are, there they are. I found them, I found them. Come on, get the lure in, get the lure in, get the lure in. Oh my, they're getting chased. Look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them. Get in, lure. I can't get it in fast enough. You see them? Now they're gone. Now they've got to still be down there. Come on. Yep, we just got thumped. There we go. Oh, there we go. Got him. Oh, I don't think it's going to be a keeper, dude. It's not a keeper. Oh, there's like 14 of them behind him. That is definitely not a keeper. That's what we came here for, though. Those suckers came out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, you don't see that too often, do you? That's a glorious one. You see that? Yeah. That's a winner. Must have had a pretty bad spot, huh? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this side of the dam. It's really shallow. Really shallow. I didn't realize it just kept being shallow. a freaking toad yes sir oh yes nothing like getting three hooks stuck in something down oh I got it off we're good what is it oh heck yeah I caught somebody's little fishing line set up oh that's wow that's that's a beauty right there Oh, the more and more I look at Instagram with these hunting pictures, I am so jacked. I'm gonna be honest with you, I know fishing is amazing, but I can also tell you I am more, more excited about hunting right now than I am pretty much just about anything. And then springtime, mm, I was telling Steven, you guys, you guys know the deal. Come December, January time frame when we started looking towards the spawn, that's when my fish star goes off. You know what I mean? It's like, ah, you know the fish star. You guys know what a fish star is? Take these out. Oh, I left this today right here. This is actually what I was looking for. That's the wobble head that was inside that MTV box. That's what I was really looking for is that thing right there. But I need to grab this sucker. I've been trying to make it a goal of mine to make it home every single night that I can to eat dinner with the family. Because I think that is very, very important. Very important, especially when Avery's starting to get older now and she really, I think she's starting to understand just about everything, which is good and, and can be bad. Hey, Texas. Oh, I can smell it. I can smell it, buddy. I can smell it. I guess mom's doing laundry. Oh, glorious. Avery. Bad day? Is Peppa not in a good mood? You what? You went to school, was it good? What are you doing, Moo? What are you doing? Lighten you up a little bit there, buddy boy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Look how ugly that looks right there. We've got to fix that, Moosa. We've got to fix that, buddy. You want to go inside? You want to go inside? Always, always tan. Whoa. Look at that. Ah, much better. There we go. Oh, she's getting there. Well, to be 100% honest with you, it's got a long way to go. Like a very long way to go. But there's the bottoms and the top. There we go. You gotta stick some stuff here down here. Little uh, green strap deals for your feet. Need some from up there. Still gotta stick the shrimp netting on the back. The jute. And I think that's it. 
Okay, yes, this is a giant, giant mess. Literally just pretty much everything I need to bring hunting, except probably don't need that. Don't, definitely don't need that. We got this, we got this prepped. Don't need that, that's, actually I'll need that for tomorrow. Yes, hint, hint. Uh, and then this, I did get some game bags for all you guys that hunt up in the, uh, oh, looks, would look, oh, look what's on the front there, okay. Camo, gotta separate that, gotta get through that. That's something I have to do pronto. Once again, thank you, Realtree. And then, you guys know the deal. That's pretty much what I gotta get set up over tonight and into tomorrow, that's, that's that it needs to get done like pronto. So I'm probably gonna do it like right now. So I'm gonna hop off here, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick, it was a kind of a quick fishing video slash is pretty much what I've done every single day. That's that you guys know. I, I random stuff every day. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe right down there. Do it too. And then because you're about to see one of the most glorious, scrumdiliumptious outros you've ever heard in your entire life. Click that video right there. If you've not seen that one, then click the one right below it. If you haven't already, subscribe right down there. Do it too. And then I love every single one of you. Thanks for hanging out. Oh my God, I dropped my hat. And I'm about to disappear. Ah.